I've got good karma. I've got a few good ideas. I think this was one of them. Um, this truck came to me free. I say this truck, but I mean the tailgate and the whole back half of it. A uh, neighbor called me up and they said, hey, do you want a free truck? Sure, what is it? It's a Ford Ranger. It's that one that my husband's been working on for the last year or however long. And we want to get rid of it so that we can get the garage back. And I'm like, uh, let me come over and talk to y'all and I uh, should be able to help you out. So I talked to him and I was talking about restoring the truck. I'd had an idea to do a tailgate shelf bench like this for a while. And I'm going to show you how to do it, some tips and tricks anyway. Um, but this truck was about to get scrapped. Scrap company wouldn't pick it up because it was too disassembled. It couldn't stay together. Cab was not bolted to the frame and it was like sitting in the middle like this. So that being the case, there was a lot of nuts and bolts and cans and uh, the engine was out of it, the bed's off, and all of the doors and panels and interior were completely disassembled. I'm talking the radio was completely disassembled and just in pieces everywhere, uh, scattered throughout the garage and so on. Dashboards out, uh, seats are out, everything, every panel in the interior. So I got, I got talking to him, I'm like, hey, this is a lot of work. Man, this is even more work than I thought. And uh, everything was just kind of laid out on the ground. The doors were laying on the ground uh, with the paint and dents aside. It was hard to tell what condition the truck was in. Um, I told him I'd give it my best to put it back together. And by twist of fate, I dropped the engine. The crane, the bearings on the pivot hook, the bearings had disintegrated over the last 20 years. It had always been reliable. And as it turns out, it dropped and busted the crank because I had the harmonic balance wrong. Bam! Just punished the crap out of it. I was like, man, this is a science. The universe was saying, you know, like, slap, slap. Dude, you wanted to do this. <laughs> it's time to do it. Uh, as I put it together, the whole right side of the truck was creased. A whole bunch of things had been broken on disassembly. Um, case in point, the grill, a bunch of the contacts and things for that. And the carpet's missing. Headliners messed up. I mean, this truck had less than 40,000 miles. It felt like a sin to scrap it. Uh, but with the engine out, the body being a mess, being all torn apart, and this was in good enough shape, and it matches exactly my first truck. The first truck was an 88 Ford Ranger, four-wheel drive, uh, four-wheel I already said four-wheel drive, four-liter engine. <laughs> and uh, this happened to be the 2.9, which is a really great engine if you want poor fuel economy and poor performance. So... <laughs> You know, I was like, my dad always said, you know, like, I'm fat, but I'm slow. <laughs> so anyway, it was, it's kind of a dog. It'd be hard to sell it. I'd never get my money back if I put it back together. And I just thought, man, this would be cool. Uh, what else is cool is this has held on the wall by four sheetrock screws. So watch for me falling out in three, two. You say, oh, God, Harold, are you okay? Actually, I didn't have it locked. I'm just some kidding. <laughs> Actually holds pretty good. So let me show you the tricks that I did, went through in putting this together. Let's get to it. Oh yeah, I also have, if you look at it, I also have the bumper to fit this. And I don't know if you noticed, but there's a wire harness here. And there's a wire harness that plugs into it. And then this went down the frame. These are for the license plate lights. So this is what the back of the truck looked like before. Uh, that's going to be in video too, so don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications so that you don't miss it. I've seen tailgate shelves on people's walls and they look cool. The guy made some wood strips for taillights on the side, uh, but they just kind of float and they don't look like the back of the truck. Here I have a whole truck that's going to scrap, and so I'm thinking to myself, self, you ought to make one of those and use all of this and cut it back far enough such that you save all of this stuff and you can screw this to the wall perhaps. Take out the tail lights, screw it to your wall, make it all nice. And uh, so that's what we're doing. And it turns out if you try to cut it exactly where you want it the first time, it's going to suck. And it also turns out, come to find out, that if you don't put masking tape and don't get it just right, it mars up the surface here. But this is kind of a patina piece anyway. So I cut it back far enough to where you've got all of this material. You can see how it's kind of got a shelf. And then I'll just go back and cut this later because this stuff is so hard to cut uh, when it's together like this because you're cutting blind and you're cutting around all kinds of stuff. 
So just cut it far back enough that where you can go back later with some kind of snip, shears, grind wheel, whatever, and then get it. That's what we're learning so far. And there's extra reinforcements down here, so just prepare for that to jack up a whole bunch of your hacksaw blades and give them the uh, wormy squirm. I thought it would be really clean to just cut everything this way, but all you really got to cut is these. And the best way to do that is with one of these. As long as you have this, you can hang it in there. You just hang your bumper against there. And then maybe I'll do a bracket or something, screw it in. We don't know, don't care. We just got to get it off of here so that we can get this one off to the pull apart auto wrecking. But here's your cross-sectional area. That's always fun. All right, it's been days later. I'm back on this project. I've got this all torn apart. Uh, lights are out of it. I've been trimming this up, trying to get it true. You see all this big flat panel? Trying to sure that up. I had all these things to cut off the side, trying to get it to where it can sit flush against the wall. I'll put some hose, I'll slit some hose or do something on this where it's not chewing it up. But uh, just cutting all this uh, fat off each side so that it matches. I did a really sloppy cut on this side just getting it off. That's okay. Um, but this big part here that comes out, I've got to get it cut off. See I'm about in the middle mark there. Uh, you're not sure where this lines up on something because you got the garden away, you got also all the crap, you can't see what you're doing. So I just kind of bump it, make a little mark here and here, and then just drag from one mark to the other. I can look from the side angle. If you're curious what my face looks like as I'm doing this, it looks like this. When I'm not breathing, I close my nose and then get away from it and take a breath in. It's like that chocolate rain guy. Chocolate rain. See a lot wrong with it. I do see a lot of surface area that I can screw and bolt and get stuff attaching with. So this plate right here that you see, that's what we'll be screwing to the wall with. So I did the same thing to this. I had tape marked where I wanted to cut. When the metal's hot, this tape that's been left on there comes off really easy. If you leave it on past when it's hot, it can be a little more difficult. This is just a rough fit. I like that, that's pretty fun. 
So I got a longer drill bit, got these pulled off. Now it's easy to get these things to just suck right in there. Now when you open it, you don't have to be so gentle. I think I could sit on it. I am not going to yet though. I might set my daughter on it. She'd think it was fun. But it's got some pretty good anchorage to it. Now, not sure if I'll have to do some more reinforcement by way of doing some welding back there. It just depends what you want to do with this. This isn't necessarily a how-to. This is just kind of my ideas I'm sharing with you. But here's where I'm at so far. Well, I thought it would hold somebody up, and as it turns out, it does. <laughs> What do you think? Is that scary? <laughs> Does that make you feel super tall? You could reach the top of the wall from there. I can't even reach the top of the wall. <laughs> Pretty cool. I tested it for your weight plus maybe one more of you. But that's about all that I'd want to do on this for a shelf. Pretty cool though, huh? Yeah, it's a shelf. It's a workbench shelf. Nice. Just crap. There you go. You got it. Oh, so independent. <laughs>